So this is Benny, the beta, and Jet, the tetra. My son named them. At first we had actually two Jets, but one unfortunately passed away. So now remaining is Benny and the Jet. Benny and the Jet get fed once a day and I try and clean out their water tank at least once a month. You'll see it, it needs some cleaning right now and I intend to do that this weekend. But they're fine, even fish, you know, maybe you can't always pet them, but just sitting and watching them swim around is very relaxing. And they have their own personalities. You know, and having a fish does actually take a, a you know, work and maintenance. It's not just, oh, you put them in a fish tank and you let them be and you never come back to them. You have to pay attention to them too. They're a little bit more low maintenance in different ways. You don't have to take them out for walks, clean up after them, at least on the walk. You do have to clean up after them in their tanks, but they're not as maybe, they don't need as much attention as maybe a dog or a cat. So that might be the, the way for you to go if you're looking to adopt a pet. Maybe you already have a fish. What are your thoughts about having a fish? Does anyone have a dog, a cat, a rabbit as a pet, a bird? Having pets in our lives brings a lot of happiness, laughter. And you know, there's so many animals out there that need homes. We're gonna make art inspired by the animals we find that are up for adoption. The Humane Society of Silicon Valley is promoting Clear the Shelters. They're asking us to help clear the shelters this entire month of August. And this is part of a nationwide movement to clear the shelters to help find loving homes for animals in need. So there are three ways to adopt an animal from the Humane Society of Silicon Valley. You can first go to their Diamond in the Rough animals on their website and visit each one of those animals' profiles. So uh, a profile is a little bit about that dog, a photo of them, and you can learn more about these animals that are up for adoption. You can meet them that way. Or you can sign up for a virtual adoption appointment to meet up to three adoptable animals. Or you can sign up for Kitten Match you tell the Humane Society of Silicon Valley what you're looking for in your new kitten, like their age, what kind of color, if you want a female or a male, um, maybe personality type, and they're gonna find the perfect match for you. So our two dogs that we're looking at today to inspire our artwork, I actually found on the Humane Society of Silicon Valley's website. They're currently up for adoption. There's Maya on the left, and Charlotte on the right. They're so cute, right? They're so different and they're really interesting to look at. Charlotte has really kind of scraggly stringy hair. Maya has really interesting black and white fur. What do you think about them? I was looking at their photos and I decided I wanted to learn more about Charlotte and Maya. And so I clicked on their profiles. So again, the profile is a photo of the dog, how old they are, um, if they are female or male, and anything about their personality that you might wanna know. So Maya is two years and one month old, a medium crossbreed mix, and she is a female. And then there's a little fun thing that says about me. It says, hello there, my name is Maya. I'm a sweet, gentle girl who just finished raising some silly pups. So she's a mama. 
I'm moving on in the world and I would love a low key home with a loving family. I can be a timid, tentative girl at first, but with some time and plenty of treats, I warm up and love to wiggle my stout little body. All of our adoptions are currently virtual and by appointment only, so please check out our website for more information on how to sign up to meet me. Now Charlotte is four years old and is a small terrier cross mix. And she is a female. And let's read about her. Hi there, I'm Charlotte. I'm a mellow girl who doesn't ask for too much. I'm most interested in your love and tasty treats rather than playing with toys or other dogs. I can take some time to warm up to new people, but once I get to know you, I'll flop on my back for belly rubs. If you're looking for a laid back companion to chill on the couch with, I'm the one for you. Having just three legs hasn't slowed me down at all. In fact, I move around even better after my surgery. I'm working on building up my strength and I prefer to take short walks around the block than head back home. Now, Charlotte looks like she has a lot of personality. For our first step, you're going to need to visit the Humane Society of Silicon Valley's website. That is accessed at HSSV org and so what you're going to do is go to their website and you're going to find where it says adopt and then you're going to find where it says available animals now for their available animals, they have cats, dogs, rabbits, pocket pets. So those are like hamsters and garden cats. So select what kind of animal you're interested in. I went to dogs. And I found Maya and Charlotte. So that's your first step is selecting one animal to make a drawing of. Next, you're going to take that photo and observe it. So you'll see with Maya's photo, how I started my drawing was I looked at the outline and you could see her outline of her body you can think of it as one continuous line. So you're gonna first draw the outline of your animal's body. So just the outside shape. And then second, you're going to draw the bigger details within that outline, such as the outline of the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And then third, what you're going to do is fill in more of those details that will make your drawing come alive and represent your animal well. So what I did is I colored in some of Maya's ears. You see that I added black. I added more details to the nose and lines to show fur and even the lines in between her toes and her teeth. The next after that, you can add, continue to add more details as you see fit. I added a little bit more texture to her body, filled in some more of her eyes to make them really stand out. And you'll notice on the right hand side of her and kind of below her is a shadow. So I saw that shadow in that photo of her. And so I really wanted to show that in the drawing that I made of her. And then next, since the photo is her of her laying on the grass, I decided to do the background all in green. Now, there's another way to do a drawing of an animal. You could even take their photo and print it out, and then you could draw over it. So 
if you need a little bit more practice drawing and thinking about outlines and texture and all that, you could start that way. So you'll see in this first image, there's a black line around the shape of Charlotte's head and upper body. That's what we call the outline. And then next, I outlined Charlotte's eyes, her nose, her mouth, and even her collar. And then I did my own interpretation of those really fun strands of fur that she has there, just all over the place and just gives her so much personality. And um, I took lines and drew them all over and within the outline of her head. And kind of made the strokes different so you could see the different movement in the, her fur and then there are different shades in her fur it's not just white and there's some off-white and kind of yellowish brown so you can think about how you can use line to create those different effects and again, I continue to add more lines for texture for her really wonderful fur. And then I added darker, filled in darker areas where I really wanted to emphasize the difference in color that I see in the photo. Though I'm using only black and white, you can use um, different types of strokes and closer together to kind of create that same feeling you'd see in color. Like, you know, her ears are more defined because I use strokes that were closer together. And then this is the portrait of her without the photo background, but you can see what we get by following those kind of simple steps. Pretty fun, right? You can share your creations with us at hashtag 30 years of discovery or hashtag purple museum creations or hashtag virtual purple museum We'd love to see what you made and all of the wonderful animals you discovered out there that are up for adoption. All right, until next time, take care and happy making. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our summer broadcasts are every Wednesday and Friday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org and sign up today.